what's up? It's Marcelo, the bass wizard, playing Detroit by Marcus Miller. I'm gonna play it first, and then I'm gonna show you how to play it. Check it out. Okay, so here's how to play it. Now the main thing with a line like this is you really gotta pay attention to those ghost notes. And by ghost notes, what I mean is those muted notes. That's just as important as the actual notes to make up the rhythm of the line. If you play it without that, it's really not gonna groove and it's just not gonna sound right. Now the line starts in the G, starts with the G in the fifth fret of the, uh, the D string. I'm gonna play an octave. The whole line is basically just a G minor pentatonic. So we start off on that G, go to the B flat, 6th fret, E string. So B flat, 6th fret, the G string. C, 3rd fret of the A string. Then it slides into the D on the 5th fret of the A string. And then you uh, pluck that F right there. And I'm also adding... I'm just plucking the, right after I hit that G on the E string, I just pluck the G string right here muted. That's one of the ghost notes. So that's the first part. Next, you go to the uh, B flat right here. First fret, A string. But there's a ghost note before that too. So there's two ghost notes right there. I pluck the G string, which I mute with all these fingers right here. So. And then I, I also mute the A string before I fret that B flat and I thumb that muted A string. Same thing for the C. So the line again from the beginning. So the, after you do the C, the B flat. So I pluck the G string muted, thumb the A string muted twice. So I forget sometimes when I try to break it down like that, I have to play the whole thing again. Yeah, so pluck the G string muted. So again from the beginning. So that's the first part. The second part, they're all pretty much similar, it just kind of changes in the last bar. So the second part goes... When I forgot to add that, I'm doing that little slide at the end of the end of the first one too. Basically, you just, you just pluck the, the G right there. That right there is basically just what I did before, those ghost notes, plucking the muted A string, muted G string, but you do it twice in a row. And don't worry if you can't do it up to speed, you know, just start with this really slow. You know, it's okay to start that way and just gradually increase the speed until you can do it. So that's right there so after you do that part so you're gonna slide 
slide up to the 12th fret right here. And you're going to play the F on the G string, the F sharp, and the G. I double thumb on this thing. And the, the, the one thing that I do in this is, is if, you just, if you're playing a line and just go like that, you're going to get the strings ringing like that, which you don't want. So what I do is when I slide up, I keep my index finger covering all the strings so I can mute them. And then I kind of just with the base of it here, I fret that F, but I'm muting these two. So I don't get that, all that ringing going on. So that's the fourth. And the last one is just... You're just gonna do the same thing. So there you go, that's the Troy by Marcus Miller. If you guys have any questions, so leave a comment. And uh, I know that's not 100% note for note what he plays on the record. I change a few things. So I don't want to see any comments saying, oh, that's not exactly what he did on the song. I I mean, the basic groove is the same. I changed a few ghost notes, a few things here and there, but it works. I think it sounds cool. So, uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, make sure you subscribe, because I'm going to be posting a lot more lessons like this one. See you later.